Okay, here's step one on the aquarium build, the terrarium build. It's a 20 gallon tall. We put some silicone in the corner where it was cracked. And we're gonna have a kind of fish tank design here. And then the other bit of it's gonna be a bioactive enclosure. So I will fill Hydrotron up to the edge of this fish. This will keep it from having to like fill everything with Hydrotron because that'll be just an open space, false bottom underneath, as will that. And so we'll get some screen and some Hydrotron and build this guy up. Be fun. Yay, terrarium build! Okay, and here we are a couple steps in. So we have the Hydrotron in around the buckets. Hydrotron in around the buckets and then clear spot for that to be an aquarium. And then I cut some fabric mesh so that it fits in and around everything. So now we will put sand above that. We'll have a nice base for a false bottom on this. And here it is looking more like a terrarium. So we've got the cocoa fiber over top, the lip of the water area, and on the edges we've got the cocoa fiber, the sand, and then the screen and hydrotron, which looks like it's collapsing a little bit right there, but that's mostly aesthetics more than any kind of issue for the tank. So I'm going to let this hydrate and then start building enough soil out of this and let this cycle for a while with some ice pods and springtails in it and get a nice bioactive enclosure going. I'm really excited to see this guy in action. Awesome. And then here we are, set up full. So we've got our layers that are kind of soaking into each other and settling in. I'm going to let this cycle for a few weeks and get the springtails going. We've got our nice aquarium. I have a top that will fit that if we need to, depending on what species is in here, whether it can swim or not. A nice cork bark. Lots of good gnarls on that one. We'll let this guy cycle and start looking like a tank. So there's a tank build. Bioactive. 20 gallon tall. Ready for... It's cycling and then some new inhabitants. I came in here to check on the scorpions to see if they'd eaten their meal. And this tiny little spider that lives in with them decided to help himself to the top of the superworm. And so he was webbing up the tip of the superworm and now is just riding while it's being slowly devoured by the enormous scorpion that it was fed to. So it's, it's a pretty confident little spider. There they are. All three girls hanging out. Really enjoying their whole new enclosure. They've got a bunch of places to hide, but they hide together. As you can see from that pupa below them, I've been just feeding mealworm pupas to be sure I can see how much they're eating. They've been nibbling down. And yeah, about this time in the evening they start getting exploratory. So there's... There's the tank. With all of the critters in it. Bam. So cool. You missed him the first time. You got him that time though, huh? Real quick. One more?